Hey guys, part two with fxhippo.com, matte painting and motion tracking with mocha tutorial. Oh yeah! All right guys, so I'm just gonna speed through uh, the rest of the of the Photoshop process because um, you guys know how to do that stuff. So just uh, repeat the process that I did with the sign, uh, with the pole and the car. And uh, we'll then go back into After Effects. So let's save that, Command S, and take it back into After Effects. Okay, so back in After Effects, go to File, Import, uh, File, and then go to where you saved the PSD, so that was Still Assets, Met Painting Mockitude 122. This is really important, uh, import as Composition Crop Layers. Open. Yep, okay. So there's your, um, so here's our PSD, 122. So at the 122 point, drop that down above, sorry, just right here for now. Okay, so open it up, double click, and delete BG car track, delete mat line, delete BG element, and delete main video element. All right, so that's all we want, those three elements. So let's go back here, check it out. So as you can see, it's fixing the problem with what the map line took away. So we have this BG car track, which is for the car only. It won't work for the sign, and it won't work for the pole, because as you can see here, they are separate from the image at the moment. A bit separate. All right, let's go back to 122. So what we need to do is we need to track the sign and we need to track this pole as well. Then we'll have three tracking nulls, one for the car element, one for the sign element, and one for the pole element. So let's go back into Mocha. Let's just shut off that layer and make a new layer around the sign. So let's go to the beginning of the composition and make a new rough layer just about like that. That should work pretty well. And turn off shear, so just translation, scale, rotation, and track forwards. All right, the timeline is blue, so the sign is being tracked and it looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and turn off that layer. Let's rename it, sorry, BG Sign Track. Go ahead and turn all that off, okay? And then let's uh, let's track the poles. Let's go from the beginning, or let's go a bit further because we can't really see the pole at this point. Let's go from about, let's go from here, let's go there. So let's create another. So come up here to um, create X-Blind layer and draw a rough shape around that. It's okay if it goes off screen because Mocha is magic and attracts stuff that are off screen as well. <laughs> Based on the other points, of course. Okay, so turn off share. And let's track backwards because we're here right now. So let's track backwards. And from that point again, track forwards. All right, so the tracking is done for both the sign and the pole. Let's take the data back into After Effects. One last thing, just rename that BG Pole Track. Okay. So let's um, let's just go prepare for the data in After Effects. So head over to After Effects and create a layer new null object. Rename that BG Sign Track and another null object layer new null object BG. Uh, pole track. Okay. Let's just turn off our Photoshop layer for now. All right, so let's bring in the sign track data. Go over to After Effects, uh, sorry, Mocha, and choose Sign Track. Export tracking data as After Effects transform data. Copy to clipboard, back over to After Effects, go to the first frame, frame zero, and Sign track selected, Command V. Uh, on the sign track, press U 
on anchor point delete right click reset all right now that is attached to the sign yes very much so okay now let's do the same for pole track let's go back over to mocha select pole track export tracking data after effects transform data copy to clipboard back over to after effects frame zero select pole track layer command v press u anchor point delete right click reset so that's what it should look like position scale and rotation should have keyframes anchor point shouldn't all right so now those those three um null objects are ready okay so what you want to do now is select all three and copy them command c go into the matte painting the psd file and command go to the, sorry frame zero and command v so now again go forward to 122 on the timeline you can click on it and actually go directly to 122 and then only then at 122 parent sign with the sign track parent pull with the pull track and car with the car track so now let's go back to our main composition and it should all be tracked looks like it alrighty so what you can do now is just hide all these layers so check out this little hiding dude except the matte painting and then just press the master hider so it organizes the timeline a bit better so so like we did with the matte um, there needs to be a bit of motion blur. See how sharp they are, how they stand out? So in this case, we need to open up the matte painting, uh, PSD layer, and then select motion blur for the three elements and turn on motion blur, master motion blur. And we go back to our main composition and it's all motion blurred. All right. So let's just uh, wait for that to RAM preview. Okay, so let's have a look. There is a bit of tracking slippage on the side here with the background, but it's um, not too noticeable and uh, the, attention, the attention will be on the explosion. Okay, so the last thing I'm gonna cover in this tutorial um, will be just a bit of basic rotoscoping of his head as you can see his head gets covered by the matte painting. So what we need to do is make a duplicate of the main video element and enter to rename and name it um, guy head roto. Okay. And place that above the matte line. All right. So at the beginning of the comp, Gonna take the pen tool with the roto bezier on and just draw a rough shape around his hat. See, in this case, it's an easy uh, roto because he has a defined shape on his head. If it was hair, it'd be about 10 times harder, 100 times harder. All right, so just go in there and just adjust it. Shouldn't be too bad because it's green against green. All right, so if you click away, you'll see that the hat is now there. If you take away the guy, there we go. So now what we gotta do is zoom in, click on guy head roto, press M for mat, sorry for mask, and we're gonna animate the mask path. Now there is a way you can do this in Mocha, but I'll be going into that in um, my one of my next tutorials, which will be an advanced Mocha rotoscoping tutorial. So get excited for that one. All right, um, so let's just expand this a bit more because it wasn't completely covering. Okay, so click on the mask path stopwatch on frame zero. So go go forward about one, two, three, four, five frames 
Five frames is always a good um, a good number, especially in Mocha. Um, just make sure you got all the points selected and move them to the hat again, and then click away, and then just adjust it the tiniest bit. All right, so you just keep going five frames, if you five frames, and just adjust the points as you go along. So I'm not going to bore you guys with each step of each five frames. So I'm just going to fast forward that process a bit. Hello, this is me from the future. Um, yeah, it worked out better going every three frames, so try that out. And in between when there's bigger movement, maybe every two frames, every one frame. Uh, just remember, it doesn't have to be super accurate in this case since there's lots of movement, and we'll be feathering it um, in a few seconds. Okay, so the roto is now done. Um, so let's have a look. Let's just turn that mask off. So it looks, looks pretty good. Um, not the best. However, if we feather it a bit, It'll look at that a little bit better. So as you can see, you can see sort of an edge now. But if we take go here into feather and uh, just feather that bit. So let's turn off the mask visibility. Take that down to zero. See there? We'll just take it up to that. Bring the expansion to there. Take down the feather. So just play around with those settings and you'll find a happy medium. Just some small glitches here and there, but you can go ahead and um, adjust that as you go along. All right guys, that's it for our matte painting and motion tracking with Mocha tutorial with a bit of basic rotoscoping thrown in there. Um, so in a future tutorial, I'll talk about the process of adding the explosions, the action essentials elements. Um, so as usual, if you'd like to follow along with the tutorial, uh, just email me at fxhippo uh, at gmail.com and I can send you a download link for the content used in the tutorial, such as the background footage and the foreground footage and um, the Photoshop save files. So yeah, let me know and stay tuned to fxhippo.com.